Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Here are some tips that you can use when replying to email on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you want to reply to an email and mail usually you just quickly click Reply, type your response, and send it. But this doesn't always give you the best results. There are a lot of things you should pay attention to when replying to email and a lot of ways to make your replies better. So for instance here I've got a message from someone and I want to reply to them. I could click the Reply button here and now I could type my reply at the top, hit Send, and be done with it. But let's first focus on exactly what happened here in terms of this. This is the message that they sent. The entire thing here is quoted and I'm responding here at the top. There are a few ways that I could do better including less of this and making it more obvious as to what it is I'm responding to here at the top. Go to Mail Preferences and then go to Composing. And then if you look here you'll see Quote the text of the original message. If you have that turned off then things simply won't be quoted. You respond and it's a brand new message which can make it really difficult for the other person to know what it is you're responding to. Maybe they send a lot of messages. Maybe they sent you a lot of messages and they have to get from what you write exactly what it is that you're saying. Sometimes quoting what they say and then answering that is the best way to do it. So having this turned on is best. But you don't necessarily need to quote the entire thing. If you look down here you have two choices. Include all of the original message text or include only the selected text. And note that if you choose to include only the selected text, if nothing is selected, then all text is included. So you have the best of both worlds. Now if I want to respond to this message by answering one of the questions in here, I can simply select the question like that. Then I can click the Reply button and notice only that part is quoted. So if I put something like this and I send it, you can see how I was able to type very little and yet it's very obvious to the other person what it is I'm saying. Here's what they asked. Here's how I responded. I could also of course instead of responding up here simply place my cursor there and then put the response there. This is particularly useful when there are multiple questions in the original email. I can select from the first question to the second question. Then I can hit Reply and then I can simply place my cursor here, press Return and I can answer this question and then I could go and edit others here, deleting sections like that, making it nice and neat, and then answering another question right here. And you can see how the results going to be much better. Not only am I going to be able to type less because I'm simply responding to questions here, but it's going to be easier for them to read the email and see my answers. Compare that to simply responding and putting everything at the top here. I may have to provide more details here to explain what it is I'm saying based on the questions that they asked. I'm actually surprised more people don't do this. I've always done this. I've always quoted just the parts of the original message that I wanted and I've deleted other little sections. I've answered questions right underneath the question that they've asked and made the reply minimal and easy for them to deal with. But I often get email from people that respond to everything at the top or at the bottom or put their answers in the middle but use text formatting to try to make it stand out. Look how nice this response looks and look at how easy it's going to be for the recipient to be able to see the answers to the questions. Now another option here in Preferences isn't under Composing but under Signatures. At the bottom here you can see Place a Signature Above a Quoted Text. So if I select it here then I respond to this message. You can see how I could type there and my signature is right underneath it. The other option is to have that turned off and then when I respond my signature is all the way at the bottom which may mean they never see it. Now you should put it where you are responding. So if you find that you're often responding here at the top then you don't have the signature there at the bottom. It may actually take them a few seconds to figure out who it is responding. They may have to look up here at the headers rather than having the signature right underneath what you're writing. So decide based on the style of how you respond where that signature will go. But don't be afraid to move it. You can always just grab it, copy, paste. Now another thing to keep in mind when replying is that when you reply you're only replying to the sender. So notice here this is from this email address. But there's also a CC right there. So it actually is a conversation between 
three people. Me, the original sender, and someone else. If I just reply then I'm only replying to the original sender. So when you see that make sure you use the Reply All button right here. And now notice that it goes back to the original sender but the person who got CC'd on the previous message is going to get CC'd on this one now and will be kept in the loop. So always take a second to check this and make sure you're using Reply or Reply All properly. And if you make a mistake and you've already responded to this but you haven't sent it yet there is a handy little button here that will fix the mistake and you can see how it adds the CC right there. And now if you want to add somebody else to the conversation you could do that as well. A handy way to do it is just right here in the To field. Just include them there. That's probably your best bet. But you could also go to View and then CC Address field and it will add this here and you could add somebody in. Typically when I use CC it's meant to send the email also to somebody but to kind of signal to them that they don't need to participate in the conversation. I just want them to have a copy of this. Now you could also go to BCC Address field and add that as well. The person that the message is sent to and anybody at CC to won't know that this was also BCC to that other person. Which could be useful if you want to keep that secret but it's also useful if you simply want to notify that other person but you don't want them to get all wrapped up in the back and forth conversation. For instance if you're arranging a business meeting and you've set a time and you want your spouse to know that you're going to be at a business meeting at that time then if you use BCC they'll get a copy of the email but they won't have to worry about participating in the rest of the responses. Now when you're using mail in full screen mode replying works a little differently. So I'll go into full screen mode here and let's say I want to reply. Well there should be another window that pops up with replying it. But I'm in full screen mode so there shouldn't be any other windows. So what happens exactly? Well it's one of two things. If I reply to this message you can see what happens here is I go into split view. So I actually have the Mail app's main window here on the left and my reply here on the right. But there's another way to do it. If I go into Mail Preferences and then I go into General you can see here a checkbox for Prefer Opening Messages in Split View when in full screen. Let me turn that off and now let me reply. Now what happens is instead I get this window that appears over the full screen app. Notice the full screen app window here is grayed out now and I just have my reply. So I can finish the reply here and send it and I will get back to the regular mode. But I could also click outside here and notice what happens. The window is still there. It just goes all the way to the bottom. And I can click there to bring it back up. So if I need to refer to the original message or check something else I can and I've got this halfway composed reply there at the bottom. You also see it here under Window. You can see it listed. And that will also bring it back up. And if I'm replying to multiple messages I'll just reply to this message a second time here then I can see this window now has two tabs in it. And note that if you're already using Mail in Split View so you've got say Mail on the left and something like Messages on the right then it's going to automatically use this Overlay Window style because there's no other place to put that Reply window. Now when replying to a message one of the things you want to pay attention to is both your From email address and your signature. Because you can change these. In this case I just have one signature here. But I think it's important to tailor the signature to the recipient and the situation. For instance you may have a professional signature that has all sorts of details about how to contact you, your website, maybe even an image. But if you're responding to a friend or somebody who already knows all of that information then changing your signature to a simpler one when responding may be a bit better. On the other hand if somebody is asking a professional question and you want to kind of move the level of professionalism up you may have a different signature you can choose that has all that information. So don't sleep on choosing a signature or in fact changing which email address you're using if you have multiple accounts. If somebody emails you at one account but you want to switch the conversation over to using another account you could certainly do that here right in the reply. Now notice how this message has an attachment in it. If I reply to it the attachment isn't there. I get a little indicator that it was there but it's not there. However I can click this button here which will include the attachments from the original message. And Now you can see it's putting it there. So I can respond with this attachment. I can click there and choose Markup. And now I can mark up this attachment. For instance in this message I can simply use the markup tools to circle an area like that. Done. And then my response could be something like this. 
And of course then you can get a response with an image that's marked up by the other person and you can go back and forth like that. You can do the same thing with attached PDFs by the way. So there are some tips for replying to email on your Mac. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.